How you guys doing? I got a treat for you today. LEGO Star Wars has come out with lots of great minifigures, some brand new like the exclusive 25th year anniversary figs, and remakes of characters done in the past, which is the focus for today. The ones that I've noticed are Thrawn, Captain Rex, the Grand Inquisitor, the Fifth Brother, Cad Bane, Paz Vizsla, and with the UCS Sail Barge, probably Jabba, Max Rebo, and Slave Leia. Many of these older figs go for a lot of money, and I think with the remakes of these characters, those older figs are going to lose their value. Okay, me from the future. It turns out that they actually didn't lose their value. It pretty much stayed the same, but I'll explain more about this later. The positive side of getting remakes was expressed through the Captain Rex Microfighter, where you can get a UCS level quality fig for 13 bucks, while the older Captain Rex sold for hundreds. Besides the helmet holes, I really think the new one looks better as well. The negative is mainly for hardcore collectors who spent a ton of money just to get a character like Admiral Thrawn, only for him to be cheaper later on. It's a different fig, but still the same character. So, Captain Rex and Admiral Thrawn may look better than their older counterparts, but sometimes the older charm has the upper hand. Here's my Rebels Grand Inquisitor, for instance. I love the print on his helmet and the Imperial logo on his armor. The face is so menacing and has a lot of detail. Also, how sick is that helmet with the transparent visor? Oh, I love it. The new one looks a little cartoonish, which is ironic as he's the live action version and the animated version looks more realistic. The newer Grand Inquisitor came out in the Scythe set during November 2022. And you can see that the older version actually went up in price and then later in 2024 went back around to its usual value. The good news for hardcore collectors is that I don't think every old minifig will get a remake that's going to trump it. Queen Amidala's mold and print detail really stand the test of time, and it's kind of niche compared to a regular Padme. Darth Malgus will probably never get a remake despite how badly I want that set, which is one of my white whales. The Rebels Ahsoka is probably the best balance of both worlds, where she is a unique and rare variant of Ahsoka, but people still have many other great variants of Ahsoka, so they can get the character as well which is sort of the M&R take of having exclusive variants in UCS sets. Now, I did mention Max, Rebo, Jabba, and Slave Leia. The molds and detail are pretty much perfect, so I don't really see them changing much for the UCS set. Paz Vizsla was an odd one, as the OG one was thought to be pretty cool, and the set's value skyrocketed after his passing in Season 3. I remember people online saying to not fall for the hype, and man, were they right where the new Praetorian Guard set included him with a slightly better print. And it's not just Star Wars, where Lord of the Rings had a plethora of remakes of old figs with Rivendell and Barad-dûr. Almost all of the old figs were expensive, like the Mouth of Sauron, who only appeared in one other set. The helmet's made of a different material, being rubber rather than plastic. And I genuinely hope they don't make a Sauron micro Barad-dûr set, as I truly believe some things should stay exclusive. I stand by my opinion that niche figs should be exclusive to big sets, as he's barely in the movie in his physical form. I'm not saying every figure will get a remake, but it's crazy to see how many of these once rare figs are reappearing. And I think the collecting community becomes a lot less exciting when these rare minifigs of characters are more common. Although this situation reminds me of the tale of Darth Plagueis. No, I'm just kidding, but I will reference Revenge of the Sith. The many renowned Jedi were eliminated and replaced by the Sith. Anakin still brought balance to the Force, but at the cost of getting rid of many of the past Jedi. The wide world of rare older minifigs is taking a hit, but you know what's going to replace them? The exclusive figures. Except for young Leia. I mean, unless you enjoyed the Obi-Wan show where a grown man gets blocked by a small twig. I mean, it's a bit of a coincidence that these once expensive figs like Admiral Thrawn and Captain Rex are more accessible than ever. Anyways, thanks for watching, and take care.